okay so now in this video we will create the background for our game so right here we will create a empty game object and let just name it as background and now open up this background folder and the first thing we will add is this battleground so just simply drag and drop this and also let just reset the transform of it and now right here the position x will be minus 0.0293 and the position y will be 3.4981 after this we will set the scale x to 4.155217 and the scale y will be 0.992937 so now as you can see this will be our game ground so now after this we will add the sorting layer to it so right here click on this add sorting layer and now let's just simply add all of the layers required for our game so the first one will be the background layer and after this the next one will be for the bullet and after this the next one will be the enemy then click on this plus the second last will be the player and then the last one will be the UI so now click on this petal ground again right here select this background layer and the order in layer will be 1 now after this we will add the front decker so select this and drag it and right here we will change the first let's just reset the transform and now change the position x to minus 0.0685 and position y will be 5.69 then the scale x will be 4.154531 and the scale y will be 1.51 and also change this to background and the order in there will be 2 so now as you can see it matches the better ground perfectly so now after this we will add this back land so just drag and drop this first change the layer to background and the order in there will be zero then we can just reset the transform and now change the position x to minus 0 0.0392 and then the y will be minus 0 0.2171 then the scale x will be 4.152879 and the y will be 1.904596 so now as you can see the background also matches the whole scene perfectly as you can see after the background let's just add the back decker so the first one we will add will be right here right here we will add this back tackle 2 so just drag and drop this and reset the transform change this to background and the layer will be 1 now as you can see it and right here the position x will be 65.1363 the y position will be changed to 5.64 and the scale x will be 1.13 8891 and also if we click on this move tool let's just move it a little bit down below right here and also now click on this react tool and just simply shrink the size of it and make sure it matches right here okay so now our back decker is added now we can just simply duplicate this so either you can click on this duplicate or if you are using windows then press ctrl d and now as you can see it is duplicated so now click on this move tool and move it right here make sure it matches this right here okay so i guess it looks good now let's change uh, the back decker this duplicate one change its position x to 
29.24 and let's change the y position to 2.68 or let's just control z and reset all of the things and uh, you can change the value back to 25 and this one to 3.02 and now the last value we will change is for the scale x so change it to 1.138891 and also just move it like this and make sure it matches this right here so now as you can see it looks more perfect so now we need to add rivers right here so we can select this one back decker 3 and just drag and drop this inside the background change the layer to background and then this ordering layer will be 1 also reset the transform and right here the position x will be minus 57.9061 and the y will be 2.73 the scale x will be 1.138891 so now as you can see it is matching the background and after this let's just simply duplicate this and right here we will change the position x to minus 14.4928 the y will be the same but we will change the scale x to 1.138891 okay i guess uh, it will be the same and also click on this flip and check this x so you can see the changes it just flip the sides and now it matches the background more perfectly and also let's select this one this background decker 2 1 and let's just minimize this a little bit like this so it matches the background so as you can see now it looks more good like this so now our back deckers are now added as you can see it looks really beautiful and now the last thing we need to add is right here we need to add a floating city so for that we will use this back underscore decker okay this one so just drag and drop this in here change the layer to background and the order in there will be two so now as you can see it is right here simply reset the transform of it and right here change the position x to 65.4384 change the y value to 2.73 change the scale x to 0 0.746338 and also let's change the position x to 651363 and the y to 5.6464 and let's change the scale x to 1.138891 and change the layer to 1 okay change it to zero so now as you can see it is showing on the back side of these walls so now our design is now completed as you can see it looks really perfect and guys you can add your own design so feel free to design your own background but if you are following me then follow all of the steps as I did and you will end up creating this beautiful background